Hello and welcome back to the Gospel Teachings of R.A.K. Today we're going to be talking about the Temple of God. The summary is, God lives in us. We are the Temple of God. Us refers to those who show their love for him by keeping his commandments. He will not live in those who do not keep his commandments, and especially the immoral, as if to say, the fornicator, adulterer, effeminate, sodomite, or drunkard. Jumping to some scripture here. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, 10, 13, and 18 through 20. Do not err, neither fornicators or consensual sexual intercourse between two persons not married to each other, nor adulterers or voluntary sexual intercourse between a married person and a person not his spouse, nor the effeminate, one who displays the characteristics generally attributed to the opposite sex, nor sodomites, nor drunkards, um, or those physically or mentally impaired by a drug such as alcohol, cocaine, etc., will possess the kingdom of God. So that is, do not err, neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor the effeminate, nor sodomites, nor drunkards will possess the kingdom of God. Also, read Leviticus chapter 18, verses 6 through 24. This is where God first denounces some of the above immoral acts. Now the body is not for immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. Flee immorality. Every sin that a man commits is outside the body, but the immoral man sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your members are the temple of the Holy Spirit? who is in you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own. For you have been bought at a great price. Glorify God and bear him in your body. Next, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Do you not know that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys the temple of God, him will God destroy, for holy is the temple of God, and this temple you are. Next, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 and 16 through 18. Do not bear the yoke with unbelievers, for you are the temple of the living God. As God says, I will dwell and move among them. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, be separated, says the Lord and touch not an unclean thing. And I will welcome you in, and will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Jumping to Romans chapter 8, verses 9-11. through 11. You, however, are not carnal but spiritual. If indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you, but if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to Christ. But if Christ is in you, the body, it is true, is dead by reason of sin, but the spirit is life by reason of justification. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, then he who raised Jesus Christ from the dead will also bring to life your immortal, I'm sorry, your mortal bodies because of his spirit who dwells in you. Next is Apocalypse or the Revelation of John chapter 21 verse 3 and 4. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling of God with men, and he will dwell, or live or reside, with them. And they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. Jumping to John chapter 14, verse 21 and 23. He who has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone love me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him. And we will come to him and make our abode with him, or home with him. So, the temple of God dwells within us. If you are a Christ believer who has accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, as well as have been baptized or fully immersed in water um, by one of your churchgoers or any other Christian, it can be any Christian, and 
also that you have repented, you are able to gain this Holy Spirit and or have this Holy Spirit. So that means the Holy Spirit dwells in us. That is the temple of God. That's us. So how we treat our bodies is how we are treating the Holy Spirit, God. Um, so we have to remember what we're doing and we have to consider everything from fornication, um, effeminacy, being like a sodomite, a drunkard, um, none of them will possess the kingdom of God. It is a time of change, and it's a time to make a change. Our world, especially our nation, the United States, is a bunch of these things that I just listed. Um, or at least a lot of people fall under some, under some of those categories. And we have to remember that is God's temple. So we need to con consider that we need to treat ourself like we treat others, because not only do we need to treat others like we treat ourselves, which is good, but the opposite way as well. So treat yourself good, treat people good as well. That is the golden rule. So consider this. You are the temple of God. The Holy Spirit, if he dwells in you, you are the temple of God. Do not take that lightly. And I ask that you all um, pray, consider this message today, um, and continue searching and reading your Bible, as well as the internet for cross-examinations and things to consider and or uh, further your belief. God bless you and have a wonderful night.